Hello, my name is Ilian St. Hilaire, and I want to show you the basics of Intel Active Management Technology, Intel AMT. As you guys know, I'm the author of the Intel AMT Commander and Intel AMT Developer Toolkit tools that are available on Intel.com. But what you guys may not know is that I use Intel Active Management Technology in my own home computer. So this is my own TV at my own um, uh, apartment here. And I have active management technology on this Waybridge AMT, uh, AMT 3.0 board. I also have you know, a whole bunch of cool other things here like uh, fanless video cards, RAID controllers with Intel Matrix technology. We have CD-ROM burners and of course the latest Core 2 Extreme processor. This is a quad, so very powerful television set here. It's recording all my shows um, and so on and so forth. But what's amazing about um, why I chose to have Intel Active Management Technology in my own home computer is that I can remotely, over the internet, turn this computer on and start you know, accessing my files or doing a bunch of stuff. If something goes wrong with this computer, I can remotely uh, manage it from anywhere. So this becomes not only uh, a way of, of entertainment, but it's also my man main file server uh, for my own personal files uh, and pictures and so on. Now I want to talk a little bit about the basics of Intel Active Management Technology. Here I'm holding in my hands a uh, AMT 1.0 board. It's basically the same as the uh, 3.0 board that I have in my computer here at home. Uh, this board happens to not be working. It's not functional anymore, but it basically has the same components that we would find in an actual board. So first of all, it has, this is the back side of the board here with all the connectors for, um, for Ethernet, USB, and so on. And you have on the top here the expansion slots, PCI, PCI Express. You have the RAM, the processor, which sit right here. And you have this big heat sink, which is the ICH chip, or the, um, what we call also the Northbridge chip. And you, have, you see this other chip here, which is the Southbridge. Now, Normally this motherboard uh, it would either be powered off or powered on, but, um, but with Intel Active Management Technology, when it's powered off, this board is still available on the network. And the way it works is that when you plug power and you plug Ethernet here, this, computer, this board has a small firmware that runs in the ICH chip, and this uh, firmware called of course AMT, will go and get an IP address off of the network and become a full network participant. It will respond to ping, has a built-in web server that you can use remotely, and so on and so forth. Now, in order to keep the power usage low when the computer is off, what happens is that when the computer is on, all these RAM banks are turned on. But when the computer is off, except for the ME, which is still running, and AMT still running, only the first RAM bank uh, this first slot is on. So if you put memory um, in these, you want to make sure you fill the first one first because that's the one that uh, AMT is going to use. All the other RAM banks will be turned off. Uh, if you use interleaving, if you have two memory um, in, you know, either in those two bl first blue slots, then, um, then of course uh, you know, only a part of the memory on the first slot will be used. But that it doesn't uh, affect the performance of the computer. So this board has basically has a special wiring and a special memory controller so that it can run all four or just one of the memory slots at any given time. Um, so it has that. It also has the ME, the management engine, and it has extra flash on board because now this board not only contains the BIOS and all the BIOS settings, but it also contains the ME, the the uh, AMT software that runs on the ME right here. So that's the basics of Intel Active Management Technology. Um, once you discover basically how it works and so on, it's not that hard to use. And of course, I use it in my home uh, home computer for uh, remote management of my own computer. But of course, it's really useful in businesses, maybe in ATM, cash registers. Uh, Any time where you have a platform or a computer that runs remotely like in a kiosk and you want to kind of drop the cost 
of managing these computers remotely, uh, that's really a useful feature. I'm Ilian Saint-Hilaire, 